tiny bees. Today I'm going to be doing a big Walgreens drugstore haul and review. I have a big bunch of products here that I have been trying out for about two weeks now that I have really been enjoying a lot of these and I want to share them with you. Um, please don't mind my nasaliness. I am still a little bit sick. I'm getting over it though. I have antibiotics and I'm finally getting past this but I really wanted to film for you guys, so if you're new to my channel, please stick around and subscribe. I don't always sound this nasally, <laughs> and I hope you guys really enjoy this review and haul. So let's get right into it. So first I wanna talk about these new Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. I have the all-in-one, removes makeup, cleanses and refreshes. This is the original, and then this is the waterproof. So the waterproof does have an oil, in it that you shake up. So it's like that typical cleanse off, I don't know, makeup remover where it has the separation of the water and the oil, you shake it up and it removes really well. So as you, well now you can't really see because of the bubbles, but I have used both of these a decent amount and I have been using both of them. So I really love them both, but for different reasons. So the Micellar Cleansing Water, the original, really gentle. Great if you have sensitivity at all, like it does not irritate my eyes whatsoever. I really do find that it removes a lot of my makeup. Um, however, I always use a cleansing water or a makeup removing wipe before cleansing my face. I would not only just use this. Um, that's just personal for my preference. You really are not going to get all the dirt and gunk out of your pores by just using a cleansing water like this. Um, but I really like it for the purpose I use it for. Um, you probably will have to go over your skin a couple of times before getting every little thing off your face if you're just going to use this. Um, Mind you, I have been sick and I've been wearing no makeup at all and just going over my face with this a lot of times and not even using a wash. I don't feel that guilty though because I'm not really, you know, putting anything on my skin other than the air and pollutants in, this, in the world coming on my skin. So I did like this. It was very refreshing. It's awesome. The only reason I feel you would need this um, in place of this <laughs> um, is because it does have that oil in it that is going to really break down the hard stuff. So like the waterproof mascara or like me, I wear two to three layers of mascara, two to three mascara, different kinds of mascaras. So it's harder to get off my eye makeup, uh, my mascara. So this really, really has worked well for me with removing my mascara and that's all I've been using it for. Um, it is a little bit more oily feeling because of the oil in it, so if you're an oily skin type, you'll probably definitely like this more. It's really hard for me to choose one. Um, this really is so similar to Bioderma and ha half the price or close to half the price, it's definitely cheaper. I got this on uh, with a coupon, I believe, and it was on sale. I think I got it for around $7 and it's 13.5 fluid ounces, so this is going to last me a long time. I really just use this for my eye makeup removal, but 13.5 ounces of eye makeup removal for around $7, that's a steal. So I might end up repurchasing this as well. Love them both. So I'm going to show you some makeup that I have recently purchased that are brand new, and then I'm going to show you some items at the end that are new to me and I want to tell my opinion on, but aren't necessarily new to the drugstore. So the first item here is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion Foundation. I am in the shade N2. Perfect shade for me, I am wearing it right now. As you can see, I feel I do have a luminosity in my skin. Um, however, I do have about normal to oily, like combo skin. I tend to be more oily in my T-zone towards the summer. This is winter for me, so I can definitely get away with a more luminous foundation. Um, this is in a compact, as you can see, it has a beautiful rose gold lid, I love it. You do have a big mirror here. And then you have this sponge applicator. Not a fan of this applicator. I definitely don't suggest you use that. Then it has a little window here that you pop open so it stays nice and fresh. And there is a sponge on the bottom here. It's nice and bouncy. And you just press your sponge or whatever you want to use, your brush, into the product and it comes up onto your sponge or brush and you just blend it onto your skin. I hope you can see that. 
Um, really beautiful, very pretty going on. Blends very easy, definitely buildable in coverage. And even though it is a buildable foundation, I would say it's about a medium coverage. It does give a very glowy finish. You can see the makeup on your skin a little, but it does it doesn't feel heavy. Um, I think it looks really good. It doesn't last all day um, unless I set it. Without setting it, it definitely breaks up around my nose area. Um, that's a true test for me with foundations because a lot of the time I have a hard time keeping foundation on my nose. Um, so it doesn't wear for me without setting it for probably more than I don't know, maybe five hours, five, six hours. But if I set the foundation, it lasts really nicely for me. Um, what else can I say about this? I definitely see me only wearing in the winter, not the summer. I could see me being a grease ball in the summer with this because it just has a lot of glow and continues to get a little bit more dewy, especially in my T-zone for me during the day. Um, but overall, I really do like it. I feel like the price point is definitely too high. It's around $17 to $20, depending on where you live. I got this for around $16 because I had a coupon, like a $3 off coupon, something to that effect. Um, it only has about 0.51 ounces in here. So usually a foundation has about one ounce, so you're definitely getting less, but I do feel like I don't have to apply that much. So I do see this possibly still lasting me a while. So yeah, I'll continue to let you know what I think about this, but so far really enjoying it, and it's definitely different than any other foundation I have in my collection right now. So Maybelline has also come out with a bunch of new products. I picked up what I thought I would really use. Um, I'm really trying to just pick up products that I want to review for you guys and that I know I'll use. So I haven't picked up everything that's out there that's new. Um, but something that really caught my eye for Maybelline was this Master Fix Wear Boosting Setting Spray. Um, it's the newest setting spray on the market in the drugstore. And I really have enjoyed this so far. It has a nice fine mist to it, which is kind of hard to find with drugstore setting sprays sometimes. And I mean, it's hard to tell if this is really doing the job or if my primer is doing the work or the setting powder. Really, they all work together to make my makeup last all day. Um, but I do feel like this gives a great finish to my skin after I do my makeup, so. So far, I'm enjoying this. I also picked up two eye products from Maybelline. The first are, I think, really awesome. These are called the Master Prime Long Lasting Eyeshadow Bases. Unfortunately, the names are not on here. I cannot find them whatsoever, but I'll make sure to list them down below. This first one is so beautiful. Um, I really like the packaging, first off. It reminds me a lot of Laura Mercier's shadow bases, how they come in like a little kind of plastic. It looks like glass. It might be glass. I think it's plastic. This one's a really beautiful taupey pink shade. Well, I guess it's more pink. It's so pretty. And these do dry down and set really well, and you can use them as bases or on their own. I've used this one on its own. It's really pretty. Reminds me of a lot of the Urban Decay priming potion that has a little bit of color in it like this. Really, really pretty. And then this one I gravitated towards because it was a cream, like, neutral skin tone color. Look at that. It's a little darker than my skin, but that's a perfect base for a lid. And they blend out really well. I'll blend this before it dries so you can see. But they blend out really nice as well. And I've really been enjoying them mostly as bases, but like I said, I did use that one on its own and it was really nice. And then they also came out with color tattoos in a stick form. You guys, if you've been around for a while on my channel, you know I was obsessed with the color tattoos in the pot. I still am, still love them to this day. I use them as bases a lot. And I was really excited for these. Um, I got the shade Lavish Lavender, which I do has, have on as my base today on my lid. And this one in Bronze Truffle. Um, big bummer about these is that initially um, they aren't as pigmented. I do have to build them up a little bit, but they are very creamy, easily blended in, easy application to just kind of draw it on your eyes. These do twist up, which is nice and easy as well. And what I also like is that these click close. Did you hear that? So it's going to stay nice and fresh and not dry out on you, which is awesome. Here is the other shade here. Really, really pretty. Um, I really don't have much bad to say about these. Um, the color range, there wasn't as many like bronzy colors that I like, so that's why I went for this purpley one, but I'm kind of glad I went outside my comfort zone and got this one here because it has more kind of like a 
silvery, taupey purpleness to it. So pretty. Sorry, it's getting so dark in my background. The sun's going away. I turned up my camera setting, so hopefully you can see everything okay still. So this is the new Master Precise Skinny from Maybelline. I got it in the Defining Black. And this reminds me a lot of the Hourglass Tight Line um, that I really like. And I have, this is the only product I have not given enough um, of a try yet. Do not, my suggestion to you, just like the Hourglass, you can't twist this back down once you twist it up, so just a little at a time. It is a really nice fine point, nice and black. I don't even know if you can see that, there you go. Nice and black, so this is really good just to get right in that lash line. Not really something I would suggest buying just for the top of your lids, like to line or do a, you know, a cat eye or anything like that. This really is just meant for like the inner rim and very similar to the hourglass. I'm not sure about the, if it's going to last as well um, as the hourglass, but I'll have to get back to you on that. So far, so good though. Some wet and wild products I want to share with you as well. So first is this highlight. Oh my goodness. It is as big, actually bigger than my hand. This is the Mega Glow Illuminating Palette in new formula, Catwalk Pink. Has three strips of glowy highlight. So pretty. I do have it on my cheeks here. And I mostly have the two lighter shades here. Um, I am going to do a swatch, usually just blend it together or just use the softer side. Um, this is really pretty, so this is all blended together. And then here are the four. If you can see that. They're very pretty. I could see them being used as eyeshadow. However, and it's pretty as a highlight too. However, it does not last very long on the skin, unfortunately. It maybe lasts me about four hours. I did reapply this. I've had my makeup on probably about six hours today, and I, I had to reapply it before filming this. So not very long wearing, but very pretty um, for a drugstore highlight. And then they also came out with a new formula of their contouring palette. I ended up picking up the Dolce de Leche one, which is a little bit more cooler of a brown, a bronze shade. They're both matte. And then this is has a little bit of a yellow tone to it, but it's nice and light. I did use that under my eye. I did use the bronzer as my contour today. Very creamy, very nice and blendable, beautiful pigments. I'll show you. Um, hope you can see that. Only issue I have with this is that it does kick up a lot. Um, you have to be careful when you're dipping your brush in here because um, it is so soft. But it's really pretty and very affordable. They did have ones that came out last year. This is one of them. This is in the shade Caramel Toffee. And these aren't quite as buttery of a formula. I did like these, but I definitely like the new formula better. Um, so if you, let, if you tried these last year and you didn't like them as much, I might give this one a try because I do really like the shades that they came out with and the formula is really nice. Last Wet n Wild product here that I picked up is their new Ultimate Brow Mascara. And I got the shade Nothing But Brunette. And I'm constantly on the lookout for a dupe for Benefit Give Me Brow. And I still have not been successful in that when it comes to the applicator and the color and how it looks on my brows. So this one, it does have a nice brush. It is a little bit fatter. Um, a little bit more like a mascara wand, um, but still small enough to get detail onto my brow. I feel like this is still too red on me. It's so frustrating because the Gimme Brow, which if, let me get that out so you can see. This is Gimme Brow. Obviously, you definitely are getting more product in the Wet n Wild, um, but the Gimme Brow, the brush, look at how small that is. It's so nice and small, so you can get right detailed in there. It has more of a taupey, um, cool-toned brunette shade to it. It's not overwhelming. Like, my brows, to me, look a little overwhelming today, and it's because of this. So, I'm not thrilled with it. The, wearing, the wear time is good. Color payoff is good. Um, the product itself is fine. The color and the wand... I just not, it's not the same as my Gimme Brow still. Speaking of brow products, this I also picked up, it's new, from L'Oreal. It's the Brow Stylist Definer Ultra Fine Tip Shaping Pencil, and I did get the shade Brunette as well. 
I love this. Um, this is one of the closest dupes I found to the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Um, I really like the spoolie. It's really nice, actually. And then the tip of this is so nice and fine. The color is pretty good. Um, it's not, like, perfect still. <laughs> but it is a little bit cooler tone of a brunette. It's not too red. I really can get detail precision. And I'm really enjoying this. So... If I was going to recommend a brow product for you to try at the drugstore, I would say this L'Oreal Definer Pencil is a good one. Another L'Oreal product that I'm loving are their new shadows. This is in the shade Pon... Oh God, I'm going to butcher this. Number 207, Pon Au Chocolat. Sorry, French people, you're probably like, ah, cringing. <laughs> but anyways, this is messy because I've been using this a ton. I do have it on my lids over that Maybelline um, color tattoo. It's so creamy, this formula. So pigmented. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Look at that. Great wear time. Blends beautifully, goes on beautifully. I definitely want to try more of the matte shades, however, because drugstore shadows in me are usually not friends. Um, except for the L'Oreal um, Infallible Shadows, and this one I really do like too. So, definitely not disappointed. Really like the slim packaging as well. I really like this, so I, I want to try more shades of these, and I'll let you know once I do. I did not pick up any other shadow palettes or any other kind of shadow things from... There's a lot of different ones out there. CoverGirl came out with some. Maybelline did Wet n Wild. I just know I won't reach for them, and it's just not smart for me to get them. But I know a lot of people have already spoke about um, some being better than others. I also tried out a blush. This is from CoverGirl. It's the True Blend Blush in the Light Shade. This is a beautiful, soft, peachy pink. Has the most beautiful glow. I love this blush. If you're fair skin like I am, you will love this. They do have a medium and a darker shade, too, though, for other complexions. I do have it on right now. It's a baked product. So it's not going to swatch as pretty, unfortunately, for you guys. I'll try and see. Oh, it swatched pretty good, actually. Yeah, it just has a gorgeous, soft glow to it. I'm really, really enjoying this, so definitely suggest these. I did pick up a few different um, new lip products as well. I picked up, like, one shade out of every new product. So the first thing is the Vaseline Lip Therapy in Rosy Lips. They do have two other um, scents or flavors, whatever you want to call it. This one does have a light pink kind of um, coloring to it. Very, very light though. Barely anything. It does have a nice scent to it. It feels great on the lips. Um, I've really been using this a decent amount since I've been sick and have really enjoyed it. You get a good amount of product too. Um, 0.6 ounces. So, I mean, I'm not going to get use that up anytime soon. I'm definitely happy with that. Um, speaking of products that are kind of more moisturizing and sheer, this is the CoverGirl O oh Sugar new lip product in the color Soda. It's a vitamin infused balm. I did receive this in my influencer box, but and I keep seeing the display and I want to get more shades, but I'm not letting myself because um, if you don't already know, I'm doing a use up my products this year and I'm trying not to buy too many lip products. But I don't know if you can tell, but I've definitely been using this. This is first swipe, so as you can see, it is just a nice sheer wash of color. But built up, it's really beautiful pigments. Um, they smell kind of like lemony, and it reminds me a lot of the fresh lip balms. It really does. Um, I love how it feels on my lips. It lasts pretty well, the color. It does leave behind some color. Really enjoying that. Next is from Burt's Bees. I love these. I want every single color of these. Um, I saw these, and I had to get them... Can you see? It has like a honeycomb pattern in it. I just thought these were so cute. And Burt's Bees has never disappointed me in the past. I absolutely love their regular tinted lip balms. So this is like a step up. It's a lipstick that has more pigment than the lip balms, but still has that really nice moisture to it. It feels very comfortable on the lips. I did go ahead and get a nude. This is Suede Splash number 502. They have some really beautiful deeper colors as well, though. But this is so pretty. I'm in heaven. Lasting Power is pretty good for it being more of a moisturizing lip product. 
So definitely suggest these and if I see them on sale ever, I'm definitely going to pick up maybe one more. I also tried out two of the new matte liquid lipstick kind of products at the drugstore right now. The first one I do have on my lips right now, it's from L'Oreal. It's the Infallible Pro Matte Gloss. Um, this is in the shade 318 Bare Attraction. I think I ended up actually getting one other of these. It might be in my purse. Sorry guys. Um, I really, really like these. It does have a matte appearance to it, but it feels so comfortable on the lips. Has a great wear time. I wore this this morning, um, ate, ate lunch, it still was on my lips. I did reapply before this video, but let me tell you, I'm definitely impressed with this. The applicator is more of like a pointed, angled little doe foot. The inside has holds the product, it has like a little teardrop where it holds the product and you just apply it so easily. Um, it has more of like a moussey feel to it, kind of like the Ofra liquid lipsticks, but they're not as, they don't dry down as matte and as long wearing as those, but I would say that this is a pretty good equivalent or like drugstore equivalent to those. So, and they have some really fun colors in this line too. I, I picked out the nudes or the pinks because I knew I would wear them. Um, this one, however, wah wah, I'm not a fan. These are the Vivid Matte Liquid Color Sensational um, lipsticks from Maybelline. This is in the shade 10 Nude Flush. Really beautiful shade. Um, it has a much longer applicator. I don't find that it's as easy to apply with this kind of applicator. Wow, amazing pigment though, and they have a comfortable feel to them, but highly fragranced. It smells and tastes like I'm eating perfume. It's just very fragrant, and it doesn't wear as long as the L'Oreal, and it doesn't become matte. It takes a long time. See how it kind of still has a glossiness right there? I'll swatch this L'Oreal one for you guys too. But even, see, even first watching the L'Oreal, it's already more matte before, you know, both of them just got swatched and that looks so glossy. And that will stay glossy for a while. It will eventually dry down to more matte, but this one definitely wins, in my opinion, if I was doing a showdown between these two. So I would think about getting more from this line. This was definitely a fail for me. I've also been trying out a new mascara from the drugstore. This is the CoverGirl Plumpifying Blast Pro Mascara. Um, it has a huge wand. Look at that bad boy. And it kind of has a, a, a pattern that swivels and swirls around the brush there. I don't know if you can see that. It has different kind of sizing as well in between there. It's like a big mamma jamma brush. So I do like this, but I don't love it. Um, reason I don't love it is because because the brush is so big, you can easily, you know, kind of get it everywhere on your lid, and that's not something I love. Um, I do feel like it gives me great volume, and it doesn't flake too much. If I wear it for more than I'd say 10 hours, I do start to get a little bit of fallout. Um, but it's not that big of a deal. I like it. Um, I think it does give good volume. It does keep my curl for a little bit. It's very hard to keep a curl for my lashes though. I'm thinking I might end up enjoying the formula more once it dries out a little bit. I always have that issue with the um, CoverGirl like Lash Blast Mascara line. I always like it when it dries out a little more. So I'll give you my final opinion when it's in my empties video. Okay, and the last two items are not brand new to the drugstore, but they're new for me. And I wanted to talk about them real quick. This one is the Maybelline Master Conceal Camouflaging Concealer in Fair. I ended up getting the lightest one so I could have more of a highlighting effect under my eyes. Um, I heard about this from Summer Saldana here on YouTube, one of my good friends. And she had it in a favorites video and I was like, huh, why haven't I tried that? I think it came out last year. Um, this is some high pigment. It's a little bit thicker, but it blends really easy and it does really cover well. Um, I've only used this under my eyes, but I can definitely see it covering up a blemish very easily. I do set it and it lasts very well for me. Um, I haven't had an issue so far. I've only been using this, I've used it about five times 
Um, so I'll get back to you as I continue to use it, but so far I'm enjoying it. So definitely a hit for now. <laughs> and last but not least is the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm. Um, if you guys don't watch Nikki tutorials, then you'll be like, why the heck are you showing that on your channel? Um, she mentioned this in a favorites months back, and now everyone is trying it out as a primer. Um, she used it and fell in love with it, said it made her makeup last all day and made her matte. Um, I feel it doesn't make me matte, really. Um, because I've been using luminous foundations though. So I'm going to try it out with my regular foundations that are more like n normal finish, like skin finish to um, matte foundations and see if those work better with the matte finish with this. I do like it. Um, the, the negatives for me though are the packaging, the jar. It's a pore kind of you know, spout, so you can tend to get too much at one time. It's a very thin um, liquid, so it can get everywhere. You just want a small amount because it really will go very far. Um, it smells very, very fragrant like a man, like men's cologne. That's what it smells like, so if you're sensitive to fragrance or you don't like the smell of men's cologne on your face, then don't get this. It will dissipate in a matter of seconds after applying. You're not going to continue to smell like a man on your face, but so what I suggest is if you have a man in your life, maybe you both could use it and you could try it out a little bit and if you don't like it, then he'll just use it up for you. <laughs> but I will continue to use it. I mean, it's a good size, 3.3 fluid ounces. You have to use a, such a small amount. Um, it's not going to be pore filling or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I'll just keep using it and let you know. But so far, I like it, but I don't see it as like a miracle, amazing, amazing primer um, as of yet. So I hope you guys really enjoyed seeing my new products from the drugstore and my uh, mini reviews. Um, if you want me to continue to doing more with drugstore makeup, please let me know. I plan on doing a tutorial with just drugstore makeup. Um, this is a very natural look using some of the products. If you'd like me to do the same look, let me know. And I love you guys so much, and I'll see you again real soon. Bye.